all right you are welcome back to our youtube channel once again our channel remains the best when it comes to once it comes to delivering factual and meaningful news to nigerians and to the world at large recall that recently the minister of fct abuja commenced to work and then he has been doing greatly he has been doing greatly like some persons criticize him that he issued a warning of demolition and all those things but for him that he wants to make the capital city a city number one there will be no park anywhere not everywhere you see you call it park um rearing of cattle moving about on the roads and all those things. there should be an order in the city and then darkness all those things that is going to restore and then means of transportation will be made available to citizens oh my god you need to see how this man is working i think he deserves an accolade please kindly watch this video and see what this new minister is doing i think he he began on a very good note but i don't know what will come later but for now he's doing well let us acknowledge the fact that he's doing well yes on weekend the new minister of fct watch and hear what he say and what he plans to do in fct abuja don't forget to like comment and share thank you very much Please, can we go back? Yeah, sorry. Hmm? Why do you like I I I I this thing of this project is that it is, like I said, one to prevent presidential accommodation from uh, the second office is following the sale of government property. This is eventually involved in the one that was earlier provided for them in the actual uh, legislative process. This was conceived alongside the uh, uh, assembly. But somewhere along the line, it's from the house leader and national assembly leader that um, actually raised the concern that uh, the area is a little bit too exposed to them and therefore um, the funding which normally comes from appropriation of the national assembly was not cut kind of to come to the public. That is the only thing. We don't have any but it was as it was conceived by them by the seventh and eighth assembly. It was not that uh, the initiative of the FCD, it is the initiative of the National Assembly. They accepted the Now, if they are not saying that they don't have an uh, assembly split, what happens to this property? Let me one section. Excellency, one of the concerns is the openness of the state. Because when you are driving on that road, you can see the open. So and the proximity to the company. Then what we did immediately was to plant trees. And then when those trees are to shield the place. And then access now being professional assembly is safe. However, we have not been able to do them to attend that proposal. This is the I think the minister will need to have sessions with the leadership for us to if you look at how much you are putting in this structure, and then you abandon it, what becomes of the structure again? What will happen? 
they were the ones who initiated that this structure should be built here. And the government accepted and I started construction to this level. And then you come up again to say, look, it is open place like this. This is not private residence. These are public officers' residents. That if you are not the another person will take care of. You are not the wrong, but we must understand that public funds cannot be wasted in this manner. Because if we are abandoned here, except even if MCD takes it over, to do what with it? To do what with it? So uh, it is it is it's very unfortunate that we find ourselves in this kind of uh, dilemma. I will try and plead with the present leadership of that assembly so that we'll be able to save funds and apply these other funds in other projects that are still being abandoned which we are going through. I've always said before that part of our problems in this country is every time uncompleted project. I do even believe that even if we want to come back to start a project, the contractor will bring variation. Because the price of things as at the time, you don't know the price of uh, things. And this is why we are losing every day, every day, every day. This is what I said to me. I will also make this part of the president and let him know the dilemma where we are in, why the talks with the leadership of us have something is ongoing. Thank you very much. Thank you. We can see the level of accomplishment at We've gone to the, the National Assembly, uh, the set of South, abandoned. The vice president, resident, abandoned. I can't believe it in a country like this that we are the vice president supposed to reside and a contract awarded in 2010 and we're 2023. Nothing is going on. So, this is a problem. So, why in the first place did we go into it? Well, we know that we don't have the funds for, for, for the project. This is, this is embarrassing. Really embarrassing. I don't think any serious government would allow this to happen. And uh, seriously, uh, I have to take it off the president. Because, I mean, we cannot everywhere abandon projects. Everywhere abandon projects. If you don't have the funds, why do we have to start the project in the first place? For 13 good years, where the first president is supposed to live, Unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, well, I will take it up with Mr. President and see how. Uh, I mean, this this cannot this cannot be allowed. This cannot be allowed to continue. At the end of the day, who's losing? Uh, all these funds are public uh, funds. If they would have uh, diverted to other things than to just create white elephant uh, projects. You know, so that was the reports we will make and uh, in terms of evidence of uh, what is happening. I know you will not be happy that we have this kind of thing going on. And no funding in the last uh, five, six years, seven years, no funding. So tell me, thank you very much. Annually, it has been uh, appropriated for one billion. It's not a And uh, the issue is uh, the funding is national budget, not FCT 
Therefore, we made an effort to approve, we will propose a higher sum to expedite the action, and by the time the budget is out, it is reverted to one billion. Both Julius Vega and the head of the civil service of the federation, we have expressed concern and even made written submission by the IMO and the government of the situation. Even in 2023, we have only one billion. This session, but they are making good progress. Well, uh, this is not uh, too much of a problem. I think uh, what methodology we have also adopted, knowing that the national budget is not much available, you have uh, put your funding in the LCT budget and the national uh, budget, so the IGR will be able to help you. If that was done, I'm sure by six months, seven months, you will have, even if not less than six billion dollars. So I think we'll do that. Uh, this we can manage uh, for, for, for also the parts. Like I said, you can now see the good reason why you should attach some of your projects to your IGR. If that was done, you wouldn't have having this kind of uh, problem. I'm sure every company like them would agree that every month the doctor says they will be, they'll be working. I think we have to do that so that this shouldn't be much of a, a problem. If they will agree to let you know, uh, to let us know, what time can you complete this project? So we'll be able to spread the payments. Can you do it? In one year's time, in eight months' time, is it possible? Roughly, roughly. The original schedule was for two years. Yeah. For for now, we have worked around about, let's say, considering the slow, let's say, focus because of the funds available, we we probably need another one and a half years. No, but no. The, the, the for the schedule, the way we are paying, and I are sure that this funding is provided, and uh, because part of the problem is that. When you don't have the funding, it takes more time. Okay, okay. But if we, if we agree that now, so every month you are going to get this, can you bring the, the, the time, the, the duration down? Your Excellency, so absolutely. So we'll work at that with the FCD and the Prime Secretary so that we we'll make sure that this project is, I mean, this should take us about like eight months. What should that be? With the funding, we we'll can manage it. How much have you paid them now? So, so let's go by some eight months. This, this is done. So we'll go back and have an internal uh, arrangement. Is, is that good with you? Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Yes. We must find an authority. How much is how much is it now? The, uh, uh, the government is holding on this. Oh, you on this? How much now? How much is outstanding now? Six billion. Six million. That's what has outstanding, and that's what has made you not to continue with the work. Okay. Will you come back to the ministry? Oh, so there's no funding like that. Yes. The thing has slowed down because of funding. Yes. Yes. Fine. Yes. If you have funding, there's no way this world can stay in the next seven months to have finished it. Mm -hmm. The funding is a problem. Yes. So we'll go back and see them and see how we can work out the funding so the road can be completed. Yes. So people this people can enjoy the road. I mean, let us not postpone it, postpone it, postpone it. I'm not, I've only said before, I'm not here to 
the project not going on. And like I said, this is a major project that will give a facelift to the into the city. So they don't need to go to the other side, just go out straight and go in that. So it's, it's a project we must and we'll turn the short limit, Mr. President, to come and commission this project. That is what I'm here for. I'm not here for a postponement. When the money money comes, again, okay, we can apply that to the area. So that is the way we should uh, work. So we'll go back and work out the funding pattern. But be assured that we're going to do everything and that we're giving you the template that this job should be handled in the next seven months. You agree with us? If the funding is made, I'm going to be agree with us. Thank you. We don't need to get too much. Just do the work and let people be happy that the work has been uh, done. Thank you. Uh, Also, the development of the National Museum, as well as a five star hotel and uh, an amphitheater. If I have any problems, I can invite uh, my project uh, director to just give an overview. We want to take you around to see what, what we wanted to do in the initial say what we to plan to throw it out on the international bidding to see who will be interested in that we have all the documentation to do that now. Well, a project like this naturally should be private and, uh, and uh, public partnership. So I don't know how from the inception you allowed yourself to handle this kind of uh, project. And if you are not going back to BPP, then you are saying that nothing will be done until you have a partner. And by that time also, you talk about another variation. So I would think that before you get a partner, we should start doing something so that they will be working. When the partner comes, then we we'll see this is where we have stopped and the partner can take over from here. But to say we should wait till the partner comes, then we are talking about in the next three years, uh, not as likely to happen. You have seen so many people have come and indicated in tests, I never saw them again. Sometimes it's because they are not sure of uh, part of the things that drive away investors is inconsistency in government policies. They put in their money and the government comes and says, look, but they are not ready to do that again. So that's part of the problems we have. I think that with the president we have, who had shown that look, he wants to drive tourism. And again, you would have partnered with the Ministry of Culture so that uh, now we have Minister of Tourism, we have a Minister of Tourism directly who can partner with to see how we can also drive uh, uh, tourists to the private sector driven. But for us as a ministry, as a FCT, we will not fold our hands. We will go back 
and see how we can structure finance so that they can start working. Alternatively, you can recommend to government to sell off to a private person who want to complete the project. And that is the way. That is the way. It is. So, it is some of these things encourage government to sell off to private persons who will now complete the development and so that people can benefit. I know it is rising when this project was launched. The residents of Abuja were happy. And this is the kind of thing that makes a city a city. This is why we are saying that look, we make Abuja to look differently and to encourage projects like this to be completed that will have a positive impact on the lives of our people. So, whichever way it is, be assured we will go back, we will sit down with you, we will invite you, and see how we can structure the financing before government approves either to sell off or before we have partners who want to party, uh, who want to work with us in the realization of this very important uh, project. I think that's the only thing we can uh, do. Either way, while we are working at the store for the funding structure, we will be waiting for government or the alternative, we will look at what government will finally advise as far as the project is concerned. We will recommend to government what we think instead of abandoning this. And I'm sure they are keeping their workers, they are hoping that something will be done.